Is workers' compensation insurance required in New York State? The short answer, yes it is. Hi, I'm Ryan Hanley, the founder of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information so you can make the right insurance decision. Now, when it comes to workers' compensation, there are a few high-level ideas that you need to understand specifically for New York. And that is, as a general rule of thumb, if you are paying someone for a service and they work for your business, and even a loose sense, then you have to have workers' compensation for them. That's the high-level idea. There are a lot of different scenarios. Um, there are some very clear regulations, which I will have outlined either in this, uh, either in the description of this video below or in the post that goes along with this video, where you can actually dig into the, the nitty-gritty. But I want to give you the high-level concept. If the person who's working for you is a W-2, then you absolutely have to have workers' comp and short-term disability, which is a policy specific to New York State. So if you're in a company from outside of New York and you're looking at adding uh, operations in the state of New York and you have employees that are operating here that you need to pay comp on, you, in addition to workers' comp, you also need a short-term disability policy. But when it comes specifically to comp, where um, questions come in are around contractors and specifically 1099s are where a lot of discrepancies, a lot of questions come from. And here's, here's a high level. This is not the absolute law, but this is the high level of thinking about 1099s. If they primarily work for your business and if what they do is primarily in line with what you do and what your organization does, then you need to pay workers comp on them. If uh, you operate, say, an insurance agency, and you hire a 1099 graphic designer to come in and do a project for you, and you pay them on a, on a 1099 basis, then there's a case to be made there that if they have other clients, they have their own LLC, you don't need to pay workers' comp for that person. Uh, but in the case where you bring someone in who doesn't own their own business, who doesn't have any other clients or any other clients that are on the books, which is a, a big part of this, then, and you're their primary client or only client, uh, and they're working for your business on a day-to-day -day basis, if, and this is another big one, if you are dictating when they work and when they don't work, you have to pay workers' comp on that person in 99.9% .9 of the cases. So the idea is if that person looks, feels, smells, if, they, if you kind of give them the smell test, like they work for your business, you're just paying them in some way that's not a W-2, by New York law, you most likely are gonna have to pay comp on that person, but there are situations where that's not true. So if you have questions about whether you do or don't need to have workers comp, if you need workers comp, give us a call. We are specialists, particularly in the workers comp area, uh, and we can help answer all your questions, make sure your program is set up correctly, and ultimately find you the best carrier with from a coverage and price perspective. Make sure that you're not overpaying for coverage that you don't need, but that you have exactly what you do need to cover your employees, cover your business, and ultimately protect the sustainability and longevity of your business. So uh, give us a call, 518-960-6600. You can ask for me specifically. My name is Ryan. I'm the founder of Rogue Risk, and uh, we look forward to working with you. Have a great day.